Hi there. Welcome. Welcome to TRX Core Blast. My name is Adele, and you are going to get 30 minutes of beginner intermediate core. We're going to have three sets of work with four exercises in each set. They'll be timed 30 seconds on with a 30 seconds rest. Okay, so let's do my... Um, oh, today you will need resistance bands if you have them and something to slide around on the floor. Now, if you've got a carpet, you can use um, a plate. You know, my partner's wondering where the plates are. But anyway, you can use those. And um, you might need some weight, so maybe a full water bottle. That's a good weight. Or a jar of pickles. You won't see those ever again. I'm taking them to my buddy. So let's do some jumping jacks, 30 seconds. We're just going to see how everything feels. That's it, 30 seconds. How are the shoulders? Bring them nice and down to the back pockets there. Reach up. Relax that jaw. It's not very long here, don't worry. So we're going to stay here for three, two, one. Stay standing. Wide in that stance. Bring it wide. And we're just going to rotate. Bending the knees. Swinging those arms. Just getting everything nice and loose. It's good to work with some mobility. Maybe exaggerate the twist a little bit. See how everything's feeling. Nice. And then we're going to do our classic walkabouts. So we're going to stay here for three more seconds. Two, one. Come behind the mat. And you're going to take a nice deep breath in. Look up at the sky. Hinge at the hips. Bend those knees and start walking those hands out. We bend the knees to protect the back. So maybe walk a little bit. You don't have to bring the heel down to the ground. Don't worry. Bring that right leg up. Bring it to the outside. And we're going to circle three times one way, three times the other. And then we're going to end this one with a nice little twist. Look up at the sky. Bring that hand up high. Fill the lungs with air. Breathe out. And with that hand, get the inside, and then pedal again, just to get everything nice and loose behind the legs there. Bring that other leg up, bring it to the outside of those hands, and then rotate the hips clockwise three times, and then counterclockwise. <laughs> and then take a nice, nice deep breath in, look up at the sky, and breathe out. Okay, and then come on back, and then drop to your knees, and we're going to get started with our exercises. So with this first one, we're going to try the resistance band with our hip bridge. So let's put the band up in the upper thigh, just above the knee there. Make sure it's comfortable for you. You're going to come down on the mat. You're going to bring those heels as close as you can. Maybe you have mobility, you can't. It's okay, but do your best you can. Have the small of the back, push that into the floor. Now lift your hips and feel that resistance band on the outside of the knee. So you're squeezing the butt together, keeping it nice and tall. Good job. It's nice to hold these static exercises. It gets us stronger. And we're gonna, we're gonna start reducing the rest time in between, right? But for now, we're doing this. So bring it down one vertebrae at a time. And then we're going to go into our plank. You've been here before. Okay, so you have some options. You can go on your hands and knees, hands or toes, elbows and knees, elbows or toes. Okay, so we're going to get started in about 10 seconds. Now you can increase your surface area by bringing your elbows wide. You can also increase by bringing your toes wide. So the, you can try bringing them nice close together. I'm going to try that one. And I'm going to bring my elbow under my shoulders. And then we're going to hold it here. Now, you want to tense everything up inside. So you feel those ribs come close to the hips. And yet, the shoulders are backing down. you got that nice, solid midsection. If you want to rock, you can rock forward or a little bit if you want, just to see how your body's responding. 
bring those knees down. Come on up. We're gonna go into our side plank. You have the option to use a little bit of a weight if you'd like. So, option one, bending the knees and bringing it up. Hand can be here. Option two, put one leg out. Option three, cross. Option four, stack. Option five, use the weight and bring it up. Okay, so you choose which one's for you. Okay, let's get started. Now I want you to just make sure those hips stay stacked. Pretend you have a video camera in your belly button and it's shooting straight ahead. Okay, you're gonna hold it here. You should start feeling it in the oblique. So you just fight it, so make sure it doesn't sag too much. Now if you have to let go of the position, let go and then join in. Five more seconds. There you go. Let's go to the other side. Good work. Good work. So you know your options. You're gonna make it work for you. Now if you started like this with me, I think you can bring one leg out. I think you can. Try it today. Okay? You can cross over or stack. You can use your weight if you'd like. Water, this is a, the cheapest weights you can have right here. Filling up a bottle. It needs to go to the store. So bring the hips up and then bring the hand up if this is the option you are going to choose. So watch that you don't roll. Keep it nice and stacked, okay? Now if you have to reset that position, bring the hips down and then join us. Come on up again. Maybe you feel it in the knee. Don't stop it and then just come to your knees and start the plank. Get that core in shape. There you go, good work. Bring it down, nice job. So let's go to those glute bridges again. If you're gonna use that resistance band, get it on. If, if you don't have one, it's okay. Then we're gonna make the exercise work. So come on down. So you gotta make sure that that pubic bone and the hips are all in one plane. That's how you're gonna get started. So double check your neutral spine position. Good, now push that lower back into the mat, squeeze the glutes and then bring it up. And you're gonna hold it there. Now, if you touched your buttocks right now, they should be hard like apples, okay? Not soft like mandarin oranges that have been around since Christmas. Okay, I'm getting quirky, I gotta stop this. Let's stay here for eight more seconds. Maybe try pulling the knee towards the band. Oh, feel that? Yeah? Nice, hey? Good, now put it down nice and slow. Come on up, let's get rid of the band and get into that plank position. So you have some options. I'm gonna try up on my, my hands. So may, if you've got tender wrists, come down on your elbows, okay? So you're gonna make sure that pointy part is pointing towards the knees, lift the chest, draw the navel in ever so slightly, got that nice drawn back, now lift on your toes. So you want your glutes in line with the shoulders. And you're gonna hold it here, okay? You can bring your feet closer to increase that ability, to make it a little bit tougher, hey? Maybe we'll go on a ball next time, see how it goes. Four more seconds. Okay, drop those knees. Let's go right into those side planks. We've been here before, you guys are getting good at this. So you're gonna choose what works best for you. Do you need the weights? You can use the weights again. You can cross over. Maybe you've got a problem with your hips rotating. Maybe cross them over, and then that will keep them nice and level. Okay, everything's stacked. Check if you're there. Bring those hips up. Boop. Got your bottle. Let's go. We can do this. Now squeeze those inner thighs together. A little intense, huh? You're just getting stronger, right? Because it's probably seeming a little easier. I know some of you have been with me for a while. So you're gonna take what works for you. So your hips sagging, bring them up a little bit. Five more seconds. 
and now bring those hips down. We'll do the other side. Same way you did that side. Nice work. Okay, everything stacked. I'm gonna cross over again. Got my water. Now, if you don't have your water bottle, it's okay. You can just come up like this. This is fine. Everybody deserves this workout. So grab your bottle, lift those hips up, and then bring your weights or whatever you're using here. Whoops. Yeah, just make sure you shut it. <laughs> I'm getting baptized here. Bring those hips up. A little water fight inside. You're going to hold it here. 12 more seconds. Raw, raw. Here we go. Five more seconds. And lower. You are done, set number one. Awesome. So we are going to go to the single leg bridge. A little bit different than what you did last week. So you're going to get in your bridge hip, your glute bridge position. This time you're going to bring one foot up. Now you can bring it down a little lower. You feel the abs contract a bit. A little bit easier if it's a little higher. So you're going to push with that right leg into the ground and we're going to do singles. Ready? Let's get started. So push the heel into the ground, squeeze the glutes and then lower. Let's do it again. We're just going to do singles. Bring it up and then lower. There you go. Now bring those, squeeze those glutes. It will naturally bring those hips up. If you're not coming up so far, just squeeze those glutes. It will come, it will come. Good, give yourself a nice hug. We're gonna do the other side. So you're gonna push down on this foot. That's your left foot. Your foot, remember, you can come bring your foot here or a little bit higher. Whatever you can get that glute activation and the core working at the same time. We're gonna get started in about eight seconds. So get set up, you got that neutral spine. And then you're gonna push down, squeeze the glutes, drive that heel into the ground and bring it up and then down. Now I have one side that's very weak. Maybe you've discovered one for you too. But I know this is mine. Because I've been doing things one-legged for so long. I'm just starting to work at it. Let's go. Eight more seconds. You can do this. Come on. Good work. Give yourself a huge hug. And now my favorite exercise. One of my favorite static bear. I love this one. So your heels, your, your wrists are under your <laughs> what are they? Shoulders. I'm sorry. I just get so excited about the bear. Pretend you got um, a waist scale under your knees. You're going to curl your toes under, and then you're just going to hover. Just so that waist scale says zero. You ready? Let's go. And we're going to hold it. Do you feel everything kind of firing up right now? Wow. That feels good. Don't go too high. If you need a break, come down. And then come on up again. Try to only get off about an inch, centimeter off the ground. Okay? Don't cheat. Make sure you're completely stopped. Come on, you got this. Four, three, two. And drop it down. Let's go to our sliders. Sliders are fun. I like these too. So you might have to roll your mat up a bit. Good for the knees, if you're gonna try them on your knees. So option one. Now you can come down on your elbows or you can come up on your hands. So option one would be to lift the knee up and back, up. Maybe you don't feel it, right? Maybe you gotta come up like this and bring one knee in and out. So someone said, oh, I don't feel anything, Adele, on these. Well, bring that knee up and hold it. And imagine your abdominals, your core. It's like a rubber band. So now it's getting little and it's stretching. And it's getting smaller and stretching. Hey, okay? With that little hold. Maybe try both. 
Oh, <laughs> that's a game changer. Okay. Okay. Let's go into bicycle. Wow, a lot of my favorite ones are on this one. So we're going to do bicycle. So you're going to work on those nice wide elbows. And you're going to work on that transverse plane where we're going to twist side to side. So make sure to cheat, you bring them forward. Make sure they're stacked. Fingers to the temple. Nice wide elbow. You're going to brace that core and twist. Opposite elbow to opposite hand. Here's option one. Toe tap. 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 Option two. Kick high. Nothing. We're going slow, so you get it right. So it's in the twist. It's in the twist. Now, when you know, watch that lower back, then it stays secure on that mat. It's not lifting off. It's not arching. It's nice and solid. Give yourself a nice hug. And then we're going to go into those one-legged bridges. Okay? So we're going to get set up for that bridge. Okay? And then you're going to put one leg up. If you'd like to bring it up, you can do it like that. If you want it over to the side, just a little bit different feeling. Just play with it, right? You know, doing core doesn't have to be dreaded. It could be fun. Okay, so bring that left leg up. Squeeze that right glute. Drive that heel into the ground and down. Bring it up. Now you're gonna try to bring it up. Like I have a really tough time getting that full range. It's the way I made. So I know you have your limitations too, but you're gonna try to get that nice line between the hip, the knee. There we go. Give yourself a hug. We're gonna do the other side. Okay, so you know how to set up for this one. You're getting good. I know, you want to snooze when you're staying here, hey? I do too. Okay, let's get going in about 15 seconds. I'm going to work on getting it up just maybe another centimeter taller. It's an extra challenge for me. And I know you have yours too. So let's get set up. Drive that left heel, heel into the ground. Now squeeze those glutes up high, hold, and then down. Let's do it in. Push, squeeze, down. Let's go. Squeeze. You got this. Let's do it right. Nice and slow. Maybe touch it a little bit. Is it nice and hard? Good. Ten more seconds. Let's go. Oh, five more. You got this. Come on, team. And a hug. And let's celebrate with Static Bear. Okay. So make sure you got everything lined up. You know what to do. If you need a water break, you can drink out of your weight here, your water. <laughs> so let's get make sure everything's lined up. Wrist, shoulders, yep, check. Watch that you don't kind of cheat back here. I like cheating. So I'm going to make sure everything's lined up. Look in a mirror or something. Tuck those toes under. Now let's just hover those. Just hover it up. Bring those shoulder blades back and down. Lift that chest a little bit. Feel that? Nice. Do you have to drop your knee? Drop your knee if you have to. Join in. You've got 10 seconds. Make sure those elbows are pointed towards those ankles. Oh, yeah. Woo! You might feel that in your quads too, right? Especially if you're skiing like a mad scientist these last few days because you don't know if it's your last ski. Okay, so let's get in ready for sliders. Get your little things ready back there. Put your feet onto your sliders. You're going to choose what works best for you. Okay, so if you're on your hands, you're going to make sure the pointy part of those elbows are to the ankles, and you can lift it up one at a time. Okay? Or you can bring one knee in at a time. Or you can bring both. So you're going to make sure that those knees are meeting the ribs. So you make sure everything's nice and tight because you're holding that plank too. And you squeeze those knees in. And you get a nice little burn. 
and it feels so good, right? <laughs> Let's go and do a bicycle. So get set up for this one. I'll go this way this time. Come back down. So make sure, watch these knees. That you don't want to sink in. Mine do. So I'm going to watch for that. You watch for yours too. So bring those fingertips to your temples. Nice wide elbow. Opening up that chest. Opposite elbow, the opposite knee. Now remember your options. You can come down and toe tap. It's all in the twist. Kicking out. 10 seconds left. Five more seconds. Give yourself a huge hug and a high five because you are over halfway done. Now we're going into set three, pulsing bird dogs. Yes, Sean, I know these are your favorites. Yes, they are fun. Now with this one, you want to be, you can, you have some options. So option one, the bird dog. Option two, you can bring it out 30 degrees. Option three, bring it out and then pulse, pulse. So you want to stay nice and solid. So you feel it in that glute. So you bring that foot up a little bit. Good job, you got 10. We're just gonna stay here today. You just come out of it and then join in when you're ready. Four seconds left. Good work. You feel that one, don't you? Let's do it again. So let me explain. So one way, you're gonna come out and then to the side and then we're gonna pulse up from there, okay? So let's get started in about 10 seconds. Let's work the opposite hand to opposite leg. I have to think about that one. Okay, wrists under our shoulders. So brain out into bird dog, brain it out 30 degrees. Now we're gonna pulse, pulse. Now you have the option to hold the bird dog or to pulse. Lead with the heel, lead with the thumb. Relax the jaw. There you go. Relax that shoulder too. Good work. Yes, nice job. Now, we did the static bear. I'm sure you can guess what's next. The walking bear. Let's do that one. So you're gonna make sure you're all set up. We're gonna be moving. Just like a, it's like if you're a parent and your toddler starts moving, your baby, you're like, oh, oh, this is the same kind of feeling. But as you know with life, it gets easier. So you're gonna bring those heels up, those knees up, and then you're gonna move. You're gonna start moving this bear just a little bit. If you can only move just a little bit, you do it. So you want the core to be lifting you up. If you find your shoulders are taking it, the pressure drop down, lift up again, and then walk. Make it slow and make it controlled. Try to move that, there you go. Oh, so let's go into our plank. So you have some options with this plank. We're all gonna start at this 90 degrees. You're gonna lift those hips up and you can hold it here. Maybe your hand is here, it's tired, but you're gonna make sure this is over your elbow. Option two, you're gonna bring and crunch it in. Option three, we're gonna crunch it in and pulse and then out. Okay, so let's get set up. That was our bell. So I'm gonna pulse a couple times and then bring it out. Now you wanna really focus that those hips are stacked. So try to get some space between those hips, that hip and the mat. Uh, just a double pulse. Pulse, extend. Pulse, pulse, extend. 
Good work. Let's do the other side. Feel that one, huh? You got some glutes going on there. You got some frontal plane going on there. We are doing it all. So we're gonna, you know your options, right? So you can just, you can stay here. You're brand new, you stay here. Option two, you're gonna crunch and out. Crunch, hold, out. And double pulse in the middle. Let's get started. Pulse, if you'd like. And then out. So watch you don't roll. You're not gonna roll over towards the ceiling. Okay? So if your belly button is a water gun, you want it to shoot straight ahead. You don't want it shooting up at the lights. Good work, come on. Can you hear that? Good. Let's do the pulsing bird dog. Okay, so you know your options and you're gonna make it work for you today. Okay, or maybe you're getting a little fatigued. That's normal. So option, you can hold the plank. I do, try, try a bird dog and then bring it down, okay? I'm gonna pulse right to the end. So let's go. So bring it out, 30 degrees, and then pulse, pulse, pulse. These are just little movements, little movements to create a little fatigue in the muscle that we're working. Maybe you're getting unbalanced. Your hips are being used to stabilize you. Your glutes, your core, getting all nice and stable. Five more seconds, come on team. Good work. We're gonna do the other side. So you know your options, right? So you can hold and then bring it down, okay? There's no shame in that game. That's why I just love these online workouts. You just do what works for you at home and you can be more honest without the pressure, right? So let's go. I love my online yoga. I'm totally inflexible. Okay, so bird dog, let's get started. Bring it out 30 degrees, and now we're gonna pulse. If you're coming with me, you pulse it out there. Ooh, it's a nice burn, isn't it? So when you start feeling that work, that's when the magic starts to happen. So you gotta stay in it. You know you can for 10 seconds. Come on. You can bike race or have kids, you can do this. Three, two, one, bring it down. Good work. Okay, walking bear, here we come. Grr, right? So you're gonna get all set up. Make sure you got a place to go if you're gonna walk. I'm gonna try moving just an inch. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised how that feels. Okay, so you're gonna curl those toes under. You're gonna make sure you're lined up to protect that shoulder. Shoulder blades in the back pocket. Lift the chest ever so slightly. Draw that navel in. Now hover those knees. I'm gonna start moving. Just a little bit. I have to think about moving because it's the opposite hand and opposite foot that are moving. Okay? <laughs> I don't think I can do backwards today. If you wanna go try exploring backwards, you go backwards. Just make sure those knees are hovering. Three, two, one. Woo, nice. Now we're going into those planks. Side plank with that little curl, hey? Getting some hip work in, glute work in. Oh, and a little twist too if you'd like. So let's bring, you know your options. You're gonna, you can hold this here. That's where you're at today because you can finish. Two more exercises and you're done. Okay, let's go. Bring it up, hand up, and crunch, and out. Now you can double pulse if you'd like and bring it out. That's to bring it up another notch. If that's where you're at today, if not, you stay here and crunch, hold. Watch that hip's not sagging. Come on, fight it, fight it, 10 seconds.
Good work. Woo. One more exercise and you're done. Oh, we gotta hurry and get through this one. Some people have to get back to work. Okay, so you're gonna bring those hips up. Let's just get started. And then you can bring it in and out. In, I'm climbing you, don't worry, so we can get out of here. Get you back to work. You can double pulse if you'd like. You got 10 seconds left. Oh, just really get those hips up. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Good work. We're gonna do a little stretch first. Let's get on your backs. And we're gonna give ourselves a huge hug. A nice, nice big hug. Maybe roll side to side. We worked those glutes and some hips today too. You did amazing. Good job. Let's do a big stretch. You're gonna bring one knee and straighten the other and then bring the hands up and really stretch. Maybe tighten the glutes a little bit, lift your hips off the ground, see what happens. Oh yeah. Let's do the other side. So bring that knee in, that leg out. There you go. Now bring the hands overhead and a big, big stretch. So you get safe for the lower back. Bring them both in again and let's rotate. And thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me today for this TRX Core Blast with Polytech. Have a good day.